Hi there, my name is Rob Kaplowitz. I'm one of two committee members for the 24th Ward, 4th District, West Philadelphia, Democrats. Uh, that's Mantua to most of you. Uh, I wanted to take a couple of minutes to go through the mail-in ballot just to make sure everyone is ready to handle this thing. Uh, today is the 21st of May. You have until the 24th to request that ballot. So you have three more days to request that ballot, and I'm putting the link in the comments for you about how to request that ballot online or by phone. Um, request it right away. You have until June 2nd to get it in. So today is May 21st. You really got to get that ballot in. So you're going to get in the mail a package. The outside of the envelope will look like this. Um, and inside there are instructions, written instructions in English on one side, Spanish on the other. Um, just in case those instructions are in any way confusing, you need to use a black or blue pen. You need to completely fill in your circles. And you're going to see a few categories, some things that people aren't necessarily used to seeing every time. Don't forget there are two sides to the ballot. All right? Two sides to the mail-in ballot. You're voting for President of the United States. Uh, I'm, I've got a Democratic ballot here because I'm a Democratic ward leader. I mean, committee member, not a ward leader. Don't worry about it, Ms. White. I am not taking your job. Uh, you're going to select a presidential candidate. Now, you'll see three, Bernie Sanders, Joseph Biden, Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, uh, Joe Biden is the only one still running. Bernie Sanders has suspended his campaign, as has Tulsi Gabbard. Some people say vote for Bernie Sanders if you're a Sanders supporter so that uh, he has more power in the convention. Totally your choice. Uh, the, the district, the committee... The ward is saying you could probably put your your name behind Joe Biden to help him get a mandate. Totally up to you, though. Then there's an option for attorney general. That's next. Uh, your attorney general option is only one. He's uh, running unopposed. That's Josh Shapiro. The, the only opposed election on this page that you're going to see is for your auditor general. There are a number of names, and you can find out um, about each of them if you go to – I'm going to also put a link – uh, on the in the comments to the philadelphiacitizen.org because uh, it's got a little primary guide where you can get links to each one of these auditor generals who are running. You may see a name you recognize as a Philadelphian if you are from Philadelphia, which is Nina Ahmad. She used to be the deputy mayor. She's running for the job, but there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six candidates for that role. You have a st state treasurer, only one candidate, and then you're going to have your congressional representative, which is your rep to the United States Congress, and then you're going to have your senator for the state assembly and your representative in the state assembly. Most of those are unopposed. On the back side, you're going to see a giant list of people who want to be your delegate to the Democratic National Convention. You can pick 14 of them. And again, you can pick all Joe Biden if you want to put extra muscle behind your support for Joe Biden. You can pick Bernie Sanders delegates if you want to increase his voice in the uh, in the convention. The last thing that you're going to have are the two questions, the two ballot questions. The first ballot question is whether or not the, la the city should make a permanent job, a permanent position for the Board of Labor. Um, those are folks who are there to help solve labor disputes and uh, can help uh, workers who have a grievance with their business to get their problems solved. You might have seen in the news recently the Philadelphia Film Society situation where they were not being given their sick leave that they should have been given, and no one knew about it until they went to the board. So this is to make a permanent group that handles that. The second question, and yes would be to support it, and no would be not to support it. The second question would be to amend the Home Rule Charter to uh, change the way that city employees are allowed to participate in election processes. Um, it currently prohibits people to get paid and that's not going to change. This is really a question about whether people are allowed to volunteer on campaigns. And again, you can get more information on this ballot question in the link I'm going to put. So you yet you answer those questions, yes or no. Um, and then all you have to do, so super simple, you fold it up. Here's the most important part. Put it in this envelope. 
put your ballot in this envelope. And then you're going to put your ballot and that envelope in this envelope. Why do we do that? We do that so that the people who are opening the envelope don't have to be people who are counting the votes. This way you can have some group of people opening the envelopes and then all of the votes get handed off so that they get counted by someone who is duly represented, uh, elected and hired to count votes. So make sure you put your ballot in this envelope. Then put that, that white envelope in this envelope. Now you'll notice here, no postage necessary. There's been some stuff going around Facebook about you have to put extra postage on. The postage is paid in Philadelphia, okay? And then don't forget that you have to write on the back that you did this legally, that you were the person who did this. So this is the other important thing that a lot of people forget to do. You have to sign in the box and you have to fill in the declaration. Um, if you are unable to sign, the, there is a second side of a declaration that you can put. 99.9% .9 of you who've gotten this ballot by mail are going to deal with this side. If you don't do this, they can't count your vote. So make sure you do that. That's all you have to do. We have over 140,000 people who have requested these mail-in ballots. It's amazing. Go Philadelphia.